What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Hope everybody's having an awesome day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever it is that you're watching this video. Guys, I got something for you, man. I got something for you. And it's not what you're looking at on the screen, but we are going to talk about that, too. Man, Sam, it, I, guys, this is, this is, we here, man. We are here. Two years in the making, and we are finally here. First and foremost, guys, we are close to 50,000 subscribers, okay? I need y'all to subscribe to the channel. Don't be a point dexter, bro. Get out of the portal. Become a five-star on the team of fellow five-stars. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single upload, all right? Get this, man. So tomorrow, uh, EA Sports College Football tweeted this, and this is not what I want to talk about in the video. I'm going to get to that. Creator Turk over creators take over check out our friends dropping early college football 25 content tomorrow i know ea sports is having um i know they're doing a thing i think they're doing it on twitch uh saturday and sunday as well there is about to be our weekend is going to be full of college football content and you know at first i was like eh, i really don't want to really watch it because i was afraid i was going to get spoiled by it but but i have to digress ah it makes me more excited to play the game shout out to these content creators I did apply for the um, the content creator deal that EA has. I'm just waiting to hear back, man. I really hope uh, that they say yes to that. Now, what I want to get into yesterday, I mean today, I was watching uh, QB, QJB stream. Guys, let me point something out first about this because I heard some people saying, Road to Glory looks easy. The position battles look easy. He was playing on Heisman, okay? He did say that the uh, position battles are a little bit easy, as they should be. You know, EA doesn't want the average gamer to struggle to be able to start or whatever like that. Um, there's still a lot of more work to do to get into a starting role if you're not. But, guys, y'all got to understand this. If you don't know who QJB is, this guy has been playing college football forever. And he's been playing cornerback on his Road to Glory stories forever. He's very skilled at the game. Now, Reason I bring this up is because in his um in his stream yesterday or in his in his video yesterday he was playing um Notre Dame where is this at fifty four twelve he was playing Notre Dame and he ended up uh sustaining a leg injury due to wear and tear and it was actually kind of cool how it happened I'm gonna play it here hopefully we can run into it because this is uh. This it is gonna be important as to what what's happening, okay? Um, no, nah, that's that's the end of the game right there. Man, wear and tear. He was still in the game right there. So what happens is one of his players makes a tackle on a Notre Dame defender, and the Notre Dame defender uh, ends up getting knocked into his leg. And he ends up being out. The uh, The coach actually took him out of the game. It was really, really cool to see because the back that got tackled uh, fell into his leg. Like, literally, he was standing around the pile and the guy fell into his leg. And it caused him to have to come out the game for a little bit. And, I, and I'm, I'm not finding it, but that's fine. Right here. Here it goes. Here it goes. Let's look at it in full. Um, and I got it muted because he be playing music and it'll give me copyright. And I ain't trying to get copywritten. So here's the play right here. The running back gets the ball, goes to the outside. Notice his teammates tackle him. Look at this. Boom. You see that little nudge? That little nudge caused wear and tear to build up on his leg right there. The coach ended up taking him out. And, and you know, when I saw this on stream, I was like, dude, that's crazy. That is crazy. He's not hurt. He didn't break anything, but he got dinged up pretty good. Right there, you actually see it. You talk about physics-based? That's physics-based. All right? Fast forward to, let me see, where are we at? Right here. You notice that he has a knee brace on his leg. Okay? He purposely did this himself. Okay, and I was watching it. I was like, that's that's pretty cool that he would do that. He 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 even said I put it on there. It had no bearing on the game, no bearing on his wear terror whatsoever. All right. He just put it on there to kind to 
kind of create a moment. Does that make sense? Now, get this, because he's building, he's building a story here. But get this. Scott O'Gallagher yesterday tweeted this out. All right. He says, in case you see it, the plan for a future patch, you'll get in-game injury equipment swapping for wrist, elbow, foot, or ankle injuries. Choose to choose gear to keep players going. Example, with an ankle injury, you can spat. The player will heal, but excel, change of direction, and speed will take a hit. Y'all, let me explain this for the people who may not get what's going on here. This isn't in the game yet. QB, QJB was just doing this just, you know, for, for dramatic effect. But it's now going to be in the game in a future update that when you sustain, let's say, an ankle injury in the game through wear and tear, the game is now, it's going to prompt you or there's going to be a way in the game that you can apply spat to the player's leg or ankle. The wear and tear will be gone, but he's still going to have, uh, like he said, the player will heal, but Excel caught, change of direction and speed will still take it. You're still going to take that hit, but you're going to heal. And you're going to say, okay, well, if I'm healed, why am I still taking a hit? Because, yeah, you're still hurt. But because the ankle has been wrapped up with spat and stuff, now your risk of injury or risk of making it worse has gone away. Does that make sense? I think this is freaking mind blowing, dude. You talk about realism in a football game. They are going to put in a future patch where you, you, you ding up your ankle. They're going to wrap it with spat. Your wear and tear is going to be on. That's what it says here. Choose gear to keep players going. So in game, you will be able to. And I think it's going to be up to you. I don't know if they're going to make it into a prompt where it's going to be like, hey, do you want to put spat on this guy's ankle? Or if you're going to have to manually do it. Hey, this guy's ankle is hurt. Wear and tear. Let's take. Let's. Maybe you got to call a timeout. Maybe whenever he comes out the game of defense on the field. I don't know how they're going to work it out, but they're going to make it to where you'll be able to put something on that guy's injury. If it's, if it's his ankle, spat it up. If it's his elbow, maybe uh, elbow tape. If, if it's his wrist, wrist wrap. You know what I'm saying? And the wear and tear effect or the, the damage will be gone, but you'll still take a hit. That, that, the, 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 you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, if I, if I twist my ankle in the game, what are they going to do? They're gonna they're gonna wrap it up. I'm not gonna put me back out there. I'm still not gonna be 100, percent but I'm at a less likely chance of making it worse. If that makes sense, I think this is phenomenal for the game. I think this is amazing realism. Okay, and then looking at at QJB, you know he he hurt his leg on that play, and they ended up taking him out for the rest of the game, or they took him out for a few plays. It was it was late in the game anyway when it happened. Okay. But I think that is so cool. And guys, this can happen. Wear and tear. Let me let me be clear. Wear and tear can happen for any player on the field. Every player, human controlled, computer controlled, is going to build up wear and tear. Your linemen are not going to build it up as much as, say, a receiver or a corner or a running back because your linemen have a higher toughness rating than everybody else on the field. Toughness rating is tied to wear and tear. Wear and tear is a feature you can turn off. Me, personally, I believe it on. So same way goes for you. If I'm playing against computer and I hit stick day running back, he might take a few plays out. Not because he's injured, but because he just got hit pretty hard. Got a bit big bump or bruise. He's not injured where he's out the rest of the game or a quarter, but he may come out for a play or two. Guys, that is extremely realistic to football. You can go back and look at the last season. The last football season where a, a player took a big hit, they were down for a little bit, or maybe they got back up and they're limping. Coach pulls them out. They end up getting taped or something. They come back in a few plays later. That is so realistic to the game. It happened in, I remember a national championship game where it happened to, 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 to Justin Fields when he got hit in the back. Guys, this game, they are making this game so realistic, and I am crazy in love with it. That that tweet alone got 1 million views. 
That is crazy, dude. I am super excited about this, man. I cannot wait to see more gameplay. I cannot wait to play the game myself. And guys, I got good news. I got great news, okay? Your boy gonna be able to go live on the 15th. Yes, sir. I am not gonna make content that day. I may record it and make a video with it. I need to get me an Elgato capture card, but I am going to be, um, I'm going to go live. I am going to live stream on the 15th when the game drops. Uh, what I'll be doing, I haven't decided yet. I'll probably go ahead and start my SMU rebuild. But guys, I'm going to play around in practice mode a little bit, get used to the controls before I just hop into a game. So be ready for that, man. We are going to have fun, guys. We have made it to the finish line, dog. We are here, my guy. I'm going to go to work that morning. I got to work. I got to work. Because we, we are going to be moving. We are going to be moving, but, you know, hopefully, you know, we can get it done before uh, before 3 o'clock. We should. But everything is all good, man. I'm excited to bring y'all this content. Like I said, y'all have been amazing. The support on this channel has been unreal. Uh, the live streams be going stupid and everything, and it's all thanks to you guys, okay? We are going to be on this freaking list next year, guys, man. If, if guys say the same, you know what I'm saying? Um, the capture event um they already got some of them on here so I'm, I'm assuming maybe they're gonna be posting it to youtube we'll be watching we'll be watching i don't know if i want to go live for this y'all let me know in the comment section down below if we'll go live i kind of want to wait kind of want to just watch it to myself if that makes sense but if i see something i like man we we definitely gonna be talking about this and breaking this gameplay down and stuff like that guys man y'all have an amazing rest of your day because we all five stars in this piece. Unless you ain't subscribed. Point Dexters, get out the portal. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.